What's a website that is no longer around that you miss? ThinkGeek.com Had some of the silliest and strangest things you could get, still have my Lego drinking cup you can build onto. Star Wars slash Star Trek items, Doctor Who, Big Bang Theory, Marvel Comics items, Minecraft, etc., it carried endless knickknacks you couldn't find elsewhere. It shut down slash sold off to Amazon in 2019, with Amazon not necessarily purchasing the same products to sell anymore. As someone who knows nothing about computers, I'd like to ask this, does anyone knows why there hasn't been another free video hosting service of similar popularity? Is it because it's not as exciting a second time around? I remember when YouTube was completely free for many years, is there a reason that this can't be replicated again? Edit, I feel like this question has given me a good education on the matter. Thanks. The search is utterly useless. If I want to look up cooking videos for a pie, show me cooking videos for a pie. I don't care about hot videos. Don't give me unrelated videos that you think I might like. Don't give me unrelated past videos that I've seen. Give me what I am searching for. If I want to go down a rabbit hole, I know how to do it. I miss being able to tell if a video sucked ass before you clicked it by looking at the stars. Probably a niche thing but I miss being able to message content creators on YouTube. When I was younger I went through a phase of wanting to make animations, at the time I was able to message one of the animators that had inspired me, and he was happy to mentor me, provide resources and assets, and guide me through the process. You don't get that same level of connection these days, now you have to just leave a comment or contact them via a different social media. I miss YouTube before ads. That and before the arbitrary censorship that requires adults to use childish euphemisms to prevent their content from being blocked. Google and YouTube were ruined by Google. www.www.com.com It just simply read, you have reached the end of the internet now go outside and do something. I just miss the old internet in general. Ads were usually just a banner up top maybe one on the side if they were annoying. Blogs were made by real people and had their real opinion. Content farming, bots, GPT, whatever not a thing. You would be interested in a band or movie and entertainment sites would tell you about it instead of a bot telling you why you should feel guilty about liking said movie or an unwanted story about how Chloe just broke up with Lil Scumbag and they are having a custody battle over their potbelly pig. Tetris Friends Battle Tetris was so much fun. The old Disney.com and Nickelodeon.com, when they had all the old mini-games and a web page for each show with games and activities and printouts and all sorts of stuff. There was the Hannah Montana page with the cell phone and the High School Musical 2 page with the yearbook you could write in, and the Wizards of Waverly Place with the Wizard Portal. And the real-life versions of websites in the shows, like London's Yami Page and Zack's game he was addicted to from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Also Disney Create, there was an entire community of people making art there. And before that there was MyPage, where you could have your own profile on Disney.com. Also for Nickelodeon, Nick Tropolis, and the old iCarly.com where you could actually watch web isodes and leave comments and stuff. Also Theslap.com. I remember Teen Nick having its own website too that was like a social media site. Oh and also MileyWorld.com. I would do anything to log back in and see my blog posts lol. I loved Think Geek and I was sad to see them get bought out with a rapid decline afterwards. I loved all the different knickknacks they offered. I remember buying an Anakin Skywalker lightsaber hilt lamp which I had for years, a desktop floating jellyfish tank with colored mood lighting, and other little figurines. Once I started WFH during the pandemic, I tried to go to Think Geek as I wanted to decorate my home office space, but it was gone. Tried to browse Amazon and the selection sucked. My brother and I wasted so much of our lives making virtual sandwiches on the Stitch game. 
I'm going to put on my boomer hat and say that was when the site was in decline for me. I much preferred it when they heavily focused on the IT and computer nerd crowd. I think I still have some of their catalogs from 20 years ago. Long ago, back in the dark ages of the internet, they were the best source of weird and wonderful geek merch. The plush at at bag was my favorite purchase. I use a rollator walker sometimes, so I put an imperial walker on my walker. For walking. I bought an Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber hilt lamp from there several years ago. I discovered the Think Geek site had been shut down last year when my lamp started having a short time, and I tried to go to thinkgeek.com to look for a replacement. Fortunately, I was able to fix the lamp. The Anoyatran was the all-time greatest gag for work. I miss it. It still kind of exists through GameStop. I've seen the name recently in GameStop Windows, past year or so. Eh. It's not the same anymore though. Think Geek used to be a great place to go to find some random ass neat novelty things. I still have my 15 plus year old USB toaster hub and toast USB. It's a neat 4 port hub I plug into my computer. However, one port is dead and the cable used to connect is very unique, so replacing it at this point is near impossible. Anyway, enough random thinking. Now it seems Think Geek caters to just the super mainstream of geek culture, whatever is super popular nowadays, and no longer hey look at this fuzzy monkey that can hold your cables together. It's called a cable monkey. Ain't that neat. I always looked forward to April 1st. I miss the way YouTube used to be.